Greetings everyone and welcome back to Old World Blues. At this point you know the A to Z series in which we're playing as a Californian state. Democracy has failed, Cassandra Moore has taken over, and the Navajo are pretty much all that's left. Oh, never mind, the 80s are all that's left. We gotta work on getting over there. But regardless, we've got the Gunrunner deal to talk about next, and we'll probably finish out this campaign in this episode? Probably? I don't know, maybe? Um, the Gunrunners are the largest arms dealers in the wasteland. That's El Generalissimo. Pretend that running guns at Kaiser will make them rich. We don't need to cut deals with a cigar chewing kleptocrat with our industry at our back. I'll wait for all those ones. Uh, Gunrunner licensing. The Gunrunners have quickly proven themselves as the superior weaponsmiths in the wasteland. And more so, our recent efforts to fund them have put them into a great position where they can sustain a far greater output in a reliable way. Efforts are already being made in the Congress to make them the sole provider of firearms to the NCR's military. We no need to, only need to approve the motion. So, what was that? Tech levels, of course. Origins, Watts. We got actually quite a few of these here. It's pretty nice. Legion buffs, gym drills. I'm not sure that's a Legion buff, but okay. Okay, so effect on infantry. Interesting. Not bad, but we got a couple things to make up and then justify on some divisions and keep going. Our divisions aren't looking so great, but you know, we've tried. We've tried super, super, super freaking hard in this campaign. And, yeah, we're, we're doing the best we can, you know. Doing the best we can with what we've got. We didn't need stability. We need war support, but other than that, it is what it is. All right, let's take a look. See what else we got here. I'll be honest. Between this episode and the last, there's been a few days. Life has happened. A few things. Advanced military. Sure, why not? And we're not quite just fine yet because we still have increasing our power. That lasts until October 26, about a month or so. Which is fine. Give us time to get, clear these guys out. And get more equipment back because, my god, this is looking so bad it's not funny. We're really out of infantry equipment and infantry armor and stuff like that. So, for the next turbine. Uh, let's maybe buy some more guns. Darn it, we just had a recent transaction with them, unfortunately. Uh, good. Anything else here we really care about? No. Uh, war measures, probably not. Political action, science. Uh, so we are ascending to technological excellence. We just finished this. Great, great, great. First, get the anarchist. A little more stability is always nice. I don't really need this one either. Optimized trading, don't need that one. Don't need industry. The bloodied bear. Huh. No, we're pretty much done with that one too. Don't need this too much anymore. Don't care about this one. I don't like drastic measures. We'll talk about this one. Ooh, Garden of Eden. Let it auto say first. Looks good to me. Let's blow a geck. And boom. Gun runner licensing. Awesome. Link them to Lost Souls next. Well, then we get through all this territory that probably has a lot of resistance and whatnot. But we're getting better at it. Nope. Uh, make sure you finish them off too. Oh, blast from the past. The canon revolutionized warfare, rewriting the playbook in time and time again. It seems that the Wasteland has forgotten this canon for so many nations forgo its usage. However, the NCR is a unique, in a unique position to gather and make use of such weapons, something Drummond finally fully intends to do. The lease of Two Harbor. Recently, the Boneyard has received an influx of trade from copy traders arriving in the port from the far south of Mexico. Well, business has been so, smart, so far smooth, if infrequent, Cassandra Moore has received an offer from the traders asking for a naval docking lease on the Two Harbor Islets. While the offer is certainly generous, and the island holds almost no real value to us, concerns have been raised over the appropriateness of surrendering even a small amount of autonomy to an unknown entity. Why does my choice of beverage? Sorry, Costa Caffeinata, but better luck next time. Got a lot of upgrades, or potential upgrades, I should say, here. Hmm. Infantry, light touch. Let's save some for a uh, land option, why not? And I didn't do all these ones yet. Well trained reserves. It doesn't matter, one may fall, another well trained soldier will take his place. We are one, we are superior, we will be victorious. Um, that sounds like the one we would choose, maybe here. A lot of infantry armor. Scrap shocks are good. We did want to switch our power armor, didn't we? Because power armor's not very good either, is it? 
We'll get there. Happy November. Maybe a good one be to take out the Guardians, perhaps. Yeah, maybe. Heavy artillery. My brother's power armor is the finest in the wasteland. Too bad he can't stand up to a house from half a mile away. True culprit of the chaos. Who is to blame for the collapse of the Republic? Who detonated the bomb in the Congress? The investigation demanded a few days ago brought me a report. You stealth boys were found at the electric site of the explosion. Even though nothing else was found, it became clear to me who was responsible for the death of the Republic. And the last thing they'll never see. The brother thinks that the power armor makes him invulnerable. First recon snipers who have been issued AP rifles really doubt this. Enemies of the state, a stronghold of the Anarchist Rebellion, Boneyard, a source of shame for the Republic. People of the city still refuse to accept our deals and hold traitors in high regard. From now on, anyone thought to harbor any anarchistic sentiment will be immediately dealt with. One way or another, the Boneyard will yield, and then Steel Hearts, at least. Excerpt from the President General's speech at the opening of the Steel Hearts Memorial. I want you to remember the fallen sons and daughters of California, who laid down their lives for this day to come. Their sacrifice will never be forgotten, and may their hearts of steel show us in their, the light in the hour of darkness. So, let's not do that one yet. Let's do this one. For more tension. And then, tell our New Vegas, I read this one last time, so you read this one too. Please go right ahead. And we're pretty much going to have to kill uh, Lost Hills next. Well, everyone, it's time to go to war with good old Lost Hills under Anga Harad. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, we get displaced a little bit here and there, but whatever. Nothing that we can't really handle. They've had, actually, they, they barely took any territory. Usually, they've given enough time. They take everything here, but I guess not. Clashes of Steel. In the face of overwhelming pressure, the fragile seas fire between the NCR, or California state really, and the long beleaguered Western Brother of Steel has collapsed for the second time in recent history. Laser fire illuminates Maxon as the NCR, or California state, and Brother mobilized for resumption of full scale warfare. President Cassandra Moore has made a speech proclaiming that Brother terrorists will be crushed, while the Western Brother is expected to activate underground partisan networks and call support from the many Brother chapters scattered throughout the wasteland. As the fighting in Southern California quickly grows, into an intensity that exceeds even that of the bloody guerrilla campaign waged by the Brother throughout the 2260s, one thing is clear, this will be the final war between Los Angeles and Shady Sands. Time to rid the world of these techno-fascists. Distillation is good, because we're going to need to quarrel a lot later on. We can't quite break through, but they can't take our territory either, so that's not too bad. Now we've got to work on our power armor, because our power armor rarely, barely exists, basically. Give a little bit of time, but our guys are looking super good. We're going to consolidate some of our divisions too later on because my guy is not looking ideal. You know what? Go ahead and start doing that. There you go. Good. We're getting there eventually. Sure, we'll take some stuff for now. Yeah. And go to Bro for Broken Lodge too. Look at that. Air superiority, what is it like? Do we have any of it? We got a little bit of it. Doing some damage, that's always good. Slowly pushing in. Do you have their for broken? We've been using it a little bit earlier, but whatever. Tolerate New Vegas no more. That's right. And I really don't want to do this one because I really don't want to do any political power, but if you're going to do this again, please go right ahead. You have a little more political power. We're going to lose half our cores. That seems like it. Oof. You know what? You're hanging out. We can always create more units too. That's fine. Three-dimensional printers, good, good, good. Consolidate our units so they're actually kind of full strength. Bingo bongo. It's fine. Fragmentation grenades. Good, good, good. There actually might be another episode out of this one. Because there's quite a bit for us to do, so. Good. Now you're only level three, so it'll be inspirational for this one, like ever as well. And also went with uh, Rangers Lead the Way, just because I like Rangers Lead the Way, so it is what it is. And ready to replacements, on-the-job training, self-sufficient pilots, lightning raids, ah, screw it, I always do that one, why not? And walking tanks. That'd be fine. It just takes a while to get through everybody, all this giant mess. Good war within a month, too. Which will be fantastic. Yeah, it's a few divisions left. Really getting in the guts. Got sure of Lost Hills Bunker. Some deemed it impenetrable, others deemed the conquest of it too bloody to even be attempted. However, 
for both sides. Initially seemed to have been proven wrong after a single day of somewhat underwhelming fighting, California state troopers began their attack in the early hours of the morning. It was a tough, bloody fight. Nearly every member of the bunker had been given a gun to attempt to fight off the invaders. Elders, scribes, and paladins working together to give their lives for what mattered. In the end, though, Los Hills was snuffed out. This corpse left bare for the California state to pick over. Expelling the brother from Los Hills was worth the cost. Lose 10% stability, that's quite a bit. Oof. That's right. Human superiority eventually. Tribute to the gods. Uh, how much science do we actually have? Uh, you know what? I'm okay with that. So, research is... New research department. Well, we have how many research slots? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we're already ma maxed out, so we can't take that other one. Reality plan building labs. Plan resetting labs. Help solve research. So let's do this, this stuff first, and then we'll do that one. Virus consumer tech. Restored naval base San Diego. That's good. Cool. All right. Seven divisions. You're pretty small. Go right here. You are pretty large. You guys can go right here. Ten divisions is fine. Twelve is not that much, but that's okay. Eight's even smaller. Uh -huh. And sixteen. Have fun with it. Enemies of the state. And that should slash our manpower by quite a bit. And then, Steel Hearts, which we just read earlier. Population goes way, way, way down. Yes, yeah, Fallen Heroes. The power that was collected from the dead paladins will be used to create a memorial to the Fallen Heroes of the War of the Brother to Steel. It's another thing we get from it because it's victory into it in and of itself. Still lacking. Portable radios, tons of infantry armor. Good. Oh. Worse than the defense, huh? Pretty thick, huh? Oh, it's a mixed bag. They actually have a few planes, don't they? Yeah, a few places. Oh, did I miss a place? Whoopsie. Whatever. We'll clean up. And encirclement, too. Of course, it's special forces, so it's pretty hard to crack. A double encirclement. Look at that. Good. Lost his bunker. Huh. Thinking in the middle world, if you want to this, please go ahead. Your event helped me. Cool. Corruption. It's pretty normal. Force it. Just in case, I'm going to send you back. Just in case to help cover this stuff up. Bye. Oh, we lost Sac, Sac City, but oh well. <laughs> Level 2, huh? It's not very good. Where are you guys at? Here. If they want to play, pull the same stunt they did against us, then yeah, that's okay. Hey, we split them into three parts. Good. Kill them all off. And then we gotta go to War of the 80s. Well, technically, we already are at War of the 80s. Alright. Good. Pull you out real quick. You guys go here. Kill them all. Commander, second ranger company. Camouflage master, huh? Board. 
Your nature should be pretty good too. Yep, level 10, we like that a lot. Don't need any more capture leave, but whatever. Human superiority would be nice. Persecute the anarchist, good. Steel hearts, awesome. Ah. That was a trials for the terrorists. My patient runs ever thinner, having to put up with the continued existence of the Brotherhood, but I'm a fair leader. I'll grant them a last respite before the foul and decrepit ways are extinguished forever. Any powder good? Great. The president and general's gavel. A week after the opening of the Steelhearts Memorial, the High Elders, as well as the majority of the Council of Elders who had been captured at Lost Hills, appeared in a still rebuilding NCR Hall of Congress. Although Colonel Moore would have simply had them shot, President General Moore knew that there were people who deserved justice. Justice would still end with, their, end with their lives, but charging them with the crimes and humiliating the once proud brother would satisfy some of her utter abhorrence for them. Moore stood at the top of the congressional seat, Grant C. Hayes sitting as a stenographer, although the trial likely did not go on long enough to require more than a few sheets of paper. The high elder of Lost Hills, uh, Ungahar, took, uh, took the stand first. Video and photo with the camera zoomed in on them. Reporters eagerly captured each and every angle of the worn and battered elder. They couldn't even speak, less more spin their words to create further persecution against them. Hi, Elder, you were charged alongside your so-called counsel. Moore spat the words with detest and sarcasm. With crimes of the highest nature, not only against the NC New California Republic, but also the Third California Republic. I would ask you plea, but I believe that the jury, as well as myself, have no need for such extensions. Instead, I would like to take this time to drive your attention towards the good people of the TCR, both here and across the nation. The camera zoomed from the High Elder to the individual elders. They had opted for demanding, defending themselves. Though the TCR didn't have a strictly established legal system, let alone lawyers. <clears throat> The effort may have been a valiant one in the old NCR, but in the TCR, Moore and the rest of the nation only saw it as a futile excuse to attempt to give themselves one last moment of relevancy before the age of the brother came to an end in the West. The trial went on for several hours before Moore finished, after the conviction section of the trial concluded. The prefect jury only needed to delegate for mere seconds before deciding that all the elders should be found guilty. Moore echoed the sentiment, banging her gavel on the stand. <clears throat> Those of the brother you have been found guilty of the multitudes of charges placed upon you, the deaths Sentence. The sentence is death. Although the Hall of Congress was still being rebuilt, Moore saw no issue with some small temporary additions to the seats of the, of the convicted. Guards, please raise the seats of the elders to their maximum heights. The guards did just that, raising each of the seats of the elders to a height rivaling that of a death cloud matriarch. The elders had been had been hand and leg cupped, so they could not move if they wanted to. As soon as the chairs were raised, large wood beams were unfolded from each of the seats, each of them of the new slates to the tip. If you'll be so as kind as to place the heads of the convicted into the nooses, except the high elder, I have a special plan for them. From the high elder seat, a steel beam unfolded. Then another beam. Once folded, a laser beam began emitting from between the tops of the beams. Moore shoved the neck of the high elder between the beams. You shall witness as your compatriots are given the righteous punishment of the Third California Republic. That's what TCR is. Before we, the people, witness the end of you and the end of the brother once and for all. With that, <clears throat> the brother just, the elder's heads placed in nooses, and the laser beam quickly descended on the high elder. The whole of the TCR uh, watched as the elders were hung one after the other. The last thing Brotherhood Angahard saw was Moore's dead stare. I don't believe in stability here. Oliver's pet project. Oliver always figured that the NCR heavy troopers could play a pivotal role in fighting in Arizona. We're to conquer Brotherhood Outpost. We can begin deconstructing ultimate of power armor to figure out how they work. Nice. Did I take out Lone Trees? No, Barson did. Okay. I guess this doesn't look normal. Fantastic. Only 308 ships, that's all. <clears throat> 
robotic extraction. Good. Well, they immediately start attacking us, huh? as best you can. I'm losing quite a few guys, but that's alright. Good. Heavy artillery. The brother's power came, or power, brother of power armor, is the finest in the wasteland. Uh, too bad I can't send him to a houser from half a mile away. Yeah, that's true. That really command's looking pretty thick. Good. Sure, robots, why not? Ah, the bro's good. And we gotta move in faster. All right, whatever. Protect drone security hub. Sure. Well, the folks in the defense too, huh? <clears throat> We've lost two thousand. They have seventy nine divisions, which is quite a few. So. Um, purity. Uh, definitely gonna go principle. Great. <clears throat> when in doubt, we just constantly pursue an uh, persecute an anarchists. Uh, Store at Naval Weapons Station, Seal Beach. Sure. We'll get there. Cruel irony. Slavery is banned throughout the Republic, though no one would object. Uh, we gave a higher purpose to some legionaries. Uh, thanks for the instruction, if we fit the slave collar just right, uh, their body never gets used to the feeling of wearing it. It just cuts in just enough when they swallow on the, or swallow or turn their heads to remind them who they belong to. Great. We don't know about this piece of head. Cassandra Moore has taken over New Vegas. Fantastic. Want to read? Do we have enough divisions of beat up slanter? Are good. Common energy weapon would probably be good to get to. So can they actually beat us? They might be able to, maybe. Let's see what happens. Deploy the cannons. I'm sure, why not? Oh, effect. Sith rules cannot declare wars. Hmm. Compliance laws. We promise our citizens order and peace. All we ask for in return is their silence and silent and disobedient consent. Nothing about compliance. We're getting more compliance that way. Ah, oh, the barrel still did it. Special forces, good job. Do 
Good job against the lantern. It's good. Not just find anybody, huh? That seems like a mistake. Good luck, guys. Bench rider gear would be nice. Gun train for now. Good old compliance laws. Any citizen care package, chemical bleaching is good. And what is this? The mother of California. If you wander around the wasteland, you'll find all sorts of tribes. Villages and such where people spend most of their time trying to survive the California gives its citizens. A shot at something more. We have laws, currency, healthcare, and government. It's not perfect, but it's worth protecting. With the largest military in existence, and with the greatest foes defeated, nothing will stay in the way of the bear. Nice. Got them in their place. That's what they deserve, you know? You must be ready to this piece of your head. Performance at any cost. Use advanced implants for army. Hybrid implants. Less organization, but more speed. More organization loss. Way more supply consumption, but more division attack and defense and recovery rate. Or use a virus to turn all the people into superhumans, even civilians. More speed, more organization. More supply consumption, more attack and defense. Po po recruitable population factor. Or recruitable population period. Hmm. Population just overwhelming attacks. I really don't want to lose organization. Uh, I really don't want to lose any organization. And supply gets hit really hard. I think this would be better off overall. More organization, speed, more attack defense. That sounds like fun. The Bear Triumphant. The citizens of the New California Republic have gone through many arduous times, whether it be a raid or scourge or the complete collapse of the currency they've been through thick and thin. However, in the recent years of conflict, they finally reached their bloody conclusion California finally came out on top. The brother that had once caused thousands to starve had been crushed under Morse boot. Legion had fallen without grace after decades of slavery and injustice had ruined the Arizona wastes. Just like their ancient namesake, they were all nothing but forgotten history. After all our enemies helped felllessly at the needs of order and justice, it was only befitting that a prey were given to be held in her name. Shady Sands would be the location of the great and final triumph. The crowds reached sizes of the wasteland had never seen. Entire divisions were present at the parade, proud to serve under the woman who they once fought side by side with. The sandstone arches of the great city had never been a host to a military presence this large within the city since the weeks that encompassed President Tanny's funeral. The occasion would live up to the legacy of her death, however, as hundreds of California's enemies would be walking the street in chains regretting having ever served their cruel masters. Knights and legionaries alike would be flanking each other in shame as they were spat on. However, the true highlight of the occasion was once the self the greatest threat to the state that is now a shadow of his former self, Calhoun. At this stage, no longer carried colors, he had grown pale and frail in the long and seemingly never-ending time he had been held in chains. The memory of his bravery of the Battle of Boneyard had faded into obscurity as he was now only remembered as a weak excuse of a man. The crowd was driven with rage as they asked for his head on a pike while a very small number looked on with melancholy at the once proud revolutionary, thankfully. Mercy had his final word on the battered and tired follower. He was given notice by one of the soldiers that his death would be quick. A firing squad had been chosen as his method. A rough and unmarked coffin had been prepared for him, and his grave had been excavated under a meat fruit tree. At the end of the parade, it was reaching the early hours of night. Ten soldiers lined themselves up as Calhoun faced the sandstone walls, remembering his hardships. The crowd had already grown disinterested, as a few hundred spectators still remained to watch his death. The last words he heard were fire, but as all but one of the shots hit his frail figure, no official funeral would be held. God bless. President General, the Savior of California, Mother of California, 50% more political power. Wow! Way better just fire world goes times, more special forces capacity multiplier. Uh, resistance tracking goes way down, and the resistance growth speed goes way down too. Oh, that PB. Oh, change of flag. Uh, uh, wow. 
President General Butch of the North Victorious Mother Mommy of California. Oh, yeah. Sign me up. Oh, we can reorganize the deprogramming the Legion, huh? Full of demands. No half measures. Unlocks decision to finally wipe out the brother to steal from the face of the earth. A trial is just the thing that people needed to be won over to see things my way. Now I'll no longer be questioned when I face any new brother. Alrighty. Hey, this is all alerting me to many more brothers. Let's go tear them apart. So maybe we'll go all the way down towards the center first and then get to 5% reduction of corn costs. Well, that sounds like a lot. It's not like we need the map art immediately, anyways. Hey, you, you can in. Welcome back. I love persecuting people. As long as it's not my people, we're good. Jet fighters. Oh, yeah. I don't care the head of time, it doesn't matter to me. Oh, yeah. Good. Circuitry, don't we? No, oh, that's nice. No half measures. <clears throat> Cannot declare wars. I don't like that. Baggers become a puppet. Implementing a future update. Legion was the only power that could rival or even shadow the Republic, despite their defeat. Many legionaries still oppose the rule and conduct clandestine activities in newly conquered territories. So, did that fix us forever? I, I want to keep going. That's the new state of the Union. When the Republic was founded, it was composed of five states of Boneyard, Hub, Daglo, Maxon, and Shady Sands. Now, we're finally ready to add another tour sprawl in the Republic. Let's make it formal. Nannies. Thank you, nannies. Sure, why not? Ah, here we go. Ten days. Yeah, that's a bad idea. Goodbye, Special Forces. Good, thank God you're not our Special Forces. The line's pretty thick. Look how thick they are. New state of Vegas. The flag of the 200 bear, or really the third California Republic, flies over the Vegas Strip today after President Cassandra Moore signed a formal declaration annexing the Mojave and the New California Republic as the state of New Vegas. With the Legion eliminated as an immediate threat, the NCR, <coughs> the TCR, has been able to secure its existing holdings and finally take control of the city of New Vegas itself. This ends a year-long Mojave expedition, which saw the NCR su suffer significant attrition in attempting to maintain control of the region, along with the Republic and the Bulls' demands. Yeah. The only power Legion was that could rival or even shadow the Republic, despite their defeat. Many legionaries still oppose the rule and conduct clandestine activities in newly conquered territories. That would suck. Low charge demo. trying to get Whee.
Goodbye, Klamath. Ooh, a royal would be good to get too. Three kind of precautions, nice. Water coat, oh yeah. Jet attack plans, yes. Fighters. Spencer Online, which is great. What is this? Widespread consumerism? Dynamist austerity? Huh. You can make a lot of money that way. But I need some of these resources. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Woo. Just go and pound him in. This ain't much. But it's honest divisions. It really ain't much. Oof. Nice. Nah, so we're done with all that stuff. Hmm. to Colorado. Oh. Fate of Arizona. Bring the last civilization with the guys I already dealt with. I'm turning my vision from the east to the north. I can't fathom why Tanya was so enamored with the pre war state of Argon. Travels pretend to be civilized, drug dens, and prison breaks. So, wonder that Kimball didn't just burn the place to the ground while running. But I'm not like him. I'm going to civilize the frontier whether they like it or not. Um, persecution. Nice. Do we have any things here for. Ah, the final mission. The last reminder of the Maxes. We're going all the way to Montana in a better world. Oh boy. Texas Hold'em. Ooh, finish the north. Very nice. Got all sorts of things to do here then. Oh, it's going. It's fine, whatever. Oh, we can't declare wars. That's so stupid. This is going to look really ugly. Fine, good luck. <laughs> Man, California is prosperity. I don't know how he did it, but the TCR is experiencing a form of economic miracle not seen since a brother at first began stealing a gold reserve. I must thank Hayes with a private dinner, a courtesy of the humble TCR taxpayer. I may rule with an iron fi fist of iron, but. The people have more silver and gold in pockets than ever. That's great. We're going to lose 3% of the recruitable population, but get a lot more political power. Um, more, way more stability, which is nice. No, that's not bad. Not bad overall. Centurions no more. Republic's tribunals will still hold fair. Uh-oh. 
elections for the or trials for the Legion members, despite everything they've done against the Republic. Republic's tribunals will judge every case in a swift manner, starting with the high-ranking officials. Say the rule. Cannot declare wars. So what the heck is the point of doing this, then? Mastermind of the Maxons. Want to some war support? I, mean, I guess. A legion also said no to getting territories from them. Man, this is dumb. How much science do we make? Science income. That's fun. Hmm. 222, is that worth it? Absolutely not. Wow. Can I corner Reno? It's too, too much resistance. Probably not enough political power. Wow, 300, Jesus. Centurions no more. We finally limited the last few centurions that remain in our lands with the centurions gone. Few remaining Legion soldiers devolve into petty gangs devoid of any leadership. Legion collaborators. Legion of many settler collaborators who enjoy the protection and embedded them in the war machine. While punishing them for protection is not the best idea, we can punish a few officials to remind them who's in charge now. Preventative measures. Reward loyalty. Unlike Legion, we do not fear or rely on fear to rule. A deal with a bear can be lucrative, perhaps even more lucrative than doing business for the Legion. At least we don't crucify merchants for failing to deliver. Yeah, that would suck. It's not too bad. Still some better power armor though. Let's convert another one over. Ranger volunteers. California heavy troopers. Stay in the military presence. That'd be nice. Good. Warrior code. Combined arms, yes. I got enough man stability and war support now. No, we don't have bitter springs cord, that's a mistake. Should absolutely have a cord. So I will use cons commands if we need to, I don't want to, but can we do something here? Spec ops looking good. Infantry armor is looking decent. Actually, you know what? Barrages, if even if you use uh, Van Drenberg Air Force Base. Uh, grab the bull by the horns, maybe we'll do that one next. Oh, now we can go back to war. Okay. Good, I don't want to use consequences for stuff like that. But I will if we must. Good. Uh, grab the bull by the horns. Hayes restore the TCR's economic might. 
Roger restored the TCR's military. I started this, and now I must finish it. Kimmel may have rallied against a bull, Hanley may have wounded it, but I will be the one to grab it by the horns and throw it to the ground. Only then will the combined might of the TCR pierce its evil heart and drive it into the hell where it belongs. Nice. Sure, Eagle Rock, come join us. Yeah, I guess there should be another episode of this, because we got a lot of things to take over. Nice, good stuff. Deposits. Good. Sure, why not? So now, can I re go to war with Eureka, maybe? It's just straight up war goals. Do these ever expire? No, it's good. Sky Reavers. 35 days. Fantastic. Forty-nine divisions. The Timberline's going to take a while to take a while. That's all right. Scavenge with power armor for the next turbine. We could use it. Automatic bottle openers. Why not at this point? Um, I guess we can do needles. Oh, I care about how it looks overall. I guess we can core lost steel. Not no, it's not lost steels. Steel hearts memorial. Hey, Timberline. Thanks for playing. Thanks for all the screening ships too. Holy crap. Hey, close up. Nice. Rika ain't gonna last very long against us. So she lost extra attack and defense we get. Woo! That ain't even fair. Well, who needs a fair when we got might on her side? Nuclear powered. Fantastic. Rioters, updated soldiers, because we're going to switch this over to uh, fire teams, enforcers. What is a shift all button, but whatever. So, overall, if you do this, you lose a little bit of organization, you lose a little bit of recovery rate, you get quite a bit more armor, less entrenchment, more soft attack, more hard attack, more defense, more breakthrough. Makes them harder. Okay. More armor. Fire teams, dog teams. They'll throw dogs. I don't know. Let's see. Beautiful. I cram everybody into the sky rivers. It's a little tough. That's all right. I do it worse. Legion 2. Preventative measures. With Kaiser gone, I'm no longer constrained to California in the north. I must not sit stagnant as Tandy did, but neither must I get greedy as Peterson Kimball. I need to take a third path. And taking the whole of the land of the Legion may just be the thing I need. There you go. Nice, good stuff. Pasteurization, all right. Might as well, whatever. Thank you, Sky Reavers.
Oh, they're fighting Texas too, or Los, or uh, I think it's a Brotherhood, or I guess it's the Provisional Republic of Texas. Interesting. Reward loyalty. Unlike the Legion, we don't have to rely on fear to rule. Fate of Arizona. We must have sat the fate of Arizona and hungry for for more. The bear is hungry for more, more lands, territories, more resources. Where the bear roars, the wasteland trembles. But it does. Tons of roads to build up. And then we'll go to war. A lot of civvies. Good stuff, good stuff. Fighting our lines, I'm not super worried about either. Land is failure. Oh. Let's go push him across the Rio Grande. Hungry for more. I don't really think there's anyone who could really stop us from here on out. Fate of Colorado. We must decide to fate the Colorado. Obviously, we can't do this one or this one. So we're going to do general, our contact, Goddard. Now, Odom Weary, Goddard. I was more of the head, or more than elated, of the news of an NCR victory. Now that we control most of Colorado, they can focus on the research without any hindrance. Tracking the boulder. Though our expedition never had the means to uh, reach the information stored inside the Zax database, they managed to keep it running. We must finally repair the Zax mainframe and see what secrets are stored inside and liberty lighting the world. Oh. Give me in all desperate straits, your household masses yearning to breathe free, the wretched refuse who once faded his hate. Send these the homeless temptus. Tossed to me, we'll lift our lamps beside the Golden Gate. Come on. Ambassadors, nice. Both energy weaponry, sure. But we also gotta persecute the anarchists. Not really. Uh, investigate rumors. Good. Are they supposed to be difficult? Nice. 
cool. But I think I might just end it there for right now. Um, we're going to defeat the Washington Brother next episode. Maybe even the Tar Walkers. Yeah, we'll take out the Tar Walkers in the next one. So if you enjoyed the video, though, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. As hopefully we'll finish this campaign as we continue to expand California further and further east, north, and maybe even south. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.